Hello guys and welcome back to our channel Rescue Digital Media. Today, in this video, I will show you how to repair QuickTime Move File Error 2048 with 5 quick fixes. But before that, like, subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified when our new video lands. QuickTime Move File Error 2048 is an error code that indicates a problem with playing or accessing Move QuickTime files. It occurs when attempting to open, play, or edit a move file using Apple's QuickTime Media Player or other software that relies on QuickTime components. QuickTime Error 2048 or Error 2048 couldn't open the file takes place due to invalid entry and registry file, outdated QuickTime player, missing files from video drivers, missing system files, faulty firmware, virus or malware attacks. Now, let's move on to fix this issue. Solution 1. Use Video Repair Tool The best method that you can try to repair QuickTime Move File Error 2048 is an advanced video repair tool. It not only repair corrupt move video files but also fixes other video file formats like AVI, FLV, MP4, F4V, M4V, MTS, MKV, MPEG, etc. It is a professionally recommended utility that can fix all sorts of video-related issues like choppy, jerky, grainy, pixelated, out of sync, etc. Here are steps to use the software. Step 1. Download, install and launch video repair software on your system. Click on Add Files to add corrupted video files. Step 2. Click on Repair button to begin the repairing process. This start repairing your added video files one by one. Step 3. You can click on Preview, in order to preview the repaired video file within the software. And click on Save Repaired Files button to save the repaired videos at desired location. Find its download and user guide links in the below description box. Solution 2. Convert a video file to QuickTime supported format. If the move file is severely corrupted or incompatible, you can try converting it to a different format, such as MP4. Here are the steps to do so. Open the VLC player, choose Media and tap on Convert slash Save. Now, simply go to the Open Media. Add your move file and hit on the option Convert or Save. Under the Settings, choose the option Convert, and hence enter the name and location of the destination file. Lastly, hit on the Start button. Solution 3. Run Antivirus Scan on your PC. Use genuine antivirus and ensure that it's not outdated and scan your system and smartphone at least twice a week. You can run Check Disk or Memtest 86 to ensure everything is working optimally. Solution 4. Update QuickTime. Ensure that you have the latest version of QuickTime installed on your system. Updating the software can fix any bugs or compatibility issues that may be causing the error. To do so, follow these steps. Launch the QuickTime player and go to the Help drop-down menu. Choose Update Existing Software and you can get a new window showing Apple software updates are available for your computer. Would you like to update now? Click on the OK button. In this case, you just need to update your QuickTime player. Uncheck the updates of other Apple programs. Click on the Install One Item option. And you can get the license agreement before installing QuickTime player. Examine it and click OK. Wait for a little while and you can get the updated player. Quit and relaunch it. Now, it's time to check if you can play the video file smoothly. Solution 5. Use VLC Media Player Instead of relying on QuickTime, you can try playing the move file with VLC Media Player. VLC has built-in support for many codecs and can often play move files that QuickTime struggles with. To do so, follow these steps. Launch VLC Media Player In VLC, click on Media in the top menu and select Open File from the drop-down menu. Navigate to the location where the move file is stored and select it. Then click on the open button to load the file into VLC. 
VLC will now attempt to play the move file. That's all. Hope you liked this video.